So we're jumping into copy trading on BitGet and we're going to find out exactly how much money I have made over the last month. Now, if you didn't know already, around a month ago, I made a video going through exactly how to get involved in copy trading on BitGet. Now, copy trading is you passively following another trader on the BitGet platform in order to hopefully make some passive income. So we're going to go over my experience, my returns, and then also later on in the video, we're going to go through how you yourself can copy trade. With that said, nothing in this video is financial advice and let's jump straight onto the video. So first of all, on my front page now, I also leave a link just above my head to the original tutorial where I went through exactly how you can get involved in copy trading. So if we head over to BitGet here, one of the awesome things is right now you can trade on their spot exchange for totally free. So if you don't already have a BitGet account, I highly suggest signing up using the link down there in the description. They are a channel partner here, so that is an affiliate link. But if you sign up, you're going to get over $4,000 in deposit bonuses. And on top of all of that, guys, right now, if you do sign up as we speak, the first 100 people to sign up are going to get a 10 USD futures bonus deposited directly into your account. And all of the profits that you make from that 10 USD will be totally yours. So you can do anything you want on the platform with it. It's totally free money. So make the best of it now. And let's jump straight back into the video. So copy trading, like I said, following these traders who potentially can make you some passive income in this market. And who doesn't like a little bit of passive income, especially when the markets are so, so crazy. So there's a lot of different variables you guys need to learn and look out for. So right now, just taking a random trader here, absolutely nothing to do with who I would actually use myself and what I did when I pressed follow, right? Here, we can go through this. Again, if you wanna know how to pick the right trader, go to the very first video in this series on the front page of this channel. But here, we can select which coins and which pairs we want our trader to use. I left this completely up to the trader. I think that it's better to follow them entirely because that's what we're doing. We're trying to weed out traders that are good for the long term. And this is gonna come with some failures, right? We're gonna find traders that we think are good. They're gonna fail and we're gonna learn from that that this isn't the right trader to follow long term and then we can move our money somewhere else and this may result in capital loss trying to weed out the good from the bad right it's happened to me and it may happen to you as well but what i did right now is even though i had a thousand dollars invested i only invested the smallest amount i possibly could which is ten dollars per trade i only put in ten dollars of my own money per trade. That way I can get involved in as many trades as they need to and hopefully never hit the threshold. Now you can still invest too much money. Remember that if the trader takes your $10 and does, let's say a 20 or 30 X trade, that is a 200 or $300 trade. Okay. I know that might seem a little bit confusing. This is why I think we need to have very low amounts that we invest into each trader and to each trade to protect us. I think this is a very common mistake that people people make, they put, let's say, $100 in, but that's not what you have to look at. If the trader uses high margin, they're going to be using a lot of your capital. We can see here, look, 20x. So at $10, if they use 20x leverage, that is going to be a $200 trade. Now, other things we can do is we can use risk management that is not the same as a trader. If you lose, leave this blank, apart from here, maximum follow, your maximum follow amount will be 50,000 in leveraged amount, but we can have risk management here. So we can put our stop loss if we wanted to at let's say 20 percent or 200 percent or 100 percent whatever you think you would want to do and you can also put your take profit at 50 percent 100 percent whatever you need you can also reduce the maximum follow amount if they keep taking out trades which a lot of traders do if the price goes down something that i do if the price continually goes down but i do think it's going to bounce i may actually add trades on the way down to lower my entry point so by the time we pop back up i'm actually going to make profits and that is a very capital intensive way to trade so again you can limit your maximum follow amount, stop losses and take profits. So I think that's very important. Let's go through the most important data here. How much money have I returned over the last month? Now, over the month, we have made some serious gains. And very recently, this trader actually had a huge pullback. They made some mistakes or not mistakes. The trades that they did didn't go in their favor every time. And this is totally normal for a trader. Exactly the same things happen for me. Not all of our trades can go in our favor. Now, something that I like to think about when it comes to the world of trading, leverage trading, spot trading, any form of short-term trading, the way I like to look at it is similar to poker. Now, 
If we can learn the skills and understand the reasons why certain things happen and understand how other people in the market affect the prices, how the news in the market affects the prices, all of that sort of thing leads back to having an advantage similar to that in poker. If you can read how the other person's facial expressions are, how they act, if you can even count cards, for example, or you can figure out because of what's already on the table, what card's going to come up next, you have the odds stacked in your favor. Now, these odds may only be slightly better than 50%, let's say. You might have odds of 55% or 60%, but having that edge means that over time, you're actually going to do better. So that means that, of course, traders like yourself or people that you follow are going to sustain losses. And I am very happy that this actually happened because we were doing very, very well. Right now, we are sitting at a 17% gain because I actually put in $1,000 to test this out. And at some point in in this month, we were up around 50 to 60%. Now, this is a very amazing return for one month. Now, do not get me wrong here. If you are new to crypto, you may see uh, hype and meme coins, even Bitcoin and the bigger coins pumping exponentially out of nowhere, seeing much more than 17% gains on a month. This might seem very normal to you, but 17% in the normal sense is a huge return. This is actually equal to a full year return of 204% which is huge. The average return in a stock market, 7 to 10%. 200% would be absolutely incredible. Even something like 1% a month would be awesome. This right now is 17%. If I could go into an investment and expect a 1% return, I would be happy with that. And remember, 1% on $1,000 is only $10. So keep that in mind, right? This is a huge return. Anyway, we can go through the history of this trader. We can see what they've been doing. 100% gain, 35% gain, 65, 3%, all of that sort of stuff. All of these good trades going through over the month. We can see here some some problems here we can go through and you know relatively good except here again there was some volatile movements that didn't go this trade as well you can see 650 percent that is why practicing really really strict risk management is key in trading and also of course copy trading i don't want to show you guys the trader himself because i don't want you guys to follow directly i really want you to follow the video where i went through everything that i'm looking for and i actually discussed exactly how to find a copy trader. But the interesting thing here is if we go back, I can show you a similar thing to what I did. So that was the monthly return that I've had so far. So $173, which is 17% on the month. Now, if we were to take this as an example and we were trading with $20,000 and we actually made a percentage of the same amount, so 17%, that would give us a return of around $3,400. That's 20 times more money that you would risk but $3,400 of profit. And if we divide that by 30, that would average us $113 per day, which is an incredible return on $20,000. But don't forget that that $20,000 is at complete risk. This is just an example of how much money, if you are looking at $173 as almost nothing, this is what I want you to understand. When people are making serious amounts of money in this space, daily, weekly, monthly by trading, they normally have a huge amount of capital behind them. And I feel like that's hidden a lot in this space, the amount of capital that's behind people. So I want you guys to understand that. I want you guys to stay safe, but I also want you guys to have the opportunity to generate some passive income in this market. So hopefully I provided you with some value today. If I did, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.